All right, we're going to get some New Year's breakfast going here. Well, it's more like a brunch since everybody but me slept in. <coughs> I got up at 3.30 in the morning. All right. Okay. First, let's get the pan out. There's the one that I want. There's the one I want. First, we're going to start with some bacon. Oh. Uh oh, here come the puppies. I hear you shake them. You're staring at that grub, saying, mm, okay, how about me? Don't worry, I'm sure there's going to be some trimmings for you. Something's going on with the drawer. We'll check that out later. Well, the doors are open and closed. Bacon going, some of the bacon going, we're gonna need more than that. So let's get that started. Okay, watch out. Trusty blade. So I open up the bacon.
thick of bacon, I like to cut it in half. That way they fit in Ziploc bags. here on the bacon and then we'll be doing eggs and sealing bacon we put it in a ziploc bag and I get the air out of it and seal those up same with this one These go in the fridge. Getting on the scrambled eggs right now. Washed around in here. We get some over over medium eggs. Hash brown. We get a potato, shredder, and we go to town. All right, now we got to test the oil. I put oil in the pan and heating it up, cooking oil. We gotta test it. We take a little piece of hash browns, throw them down, they start bubbling, close the top, then I know the oil's hot enough. Now as you look, they're cooking okay. So that means the oil is hot enough to do hash browns now. When they're bubbling like that and they come into the top, that means your oil's hot enough. 
At least that's how I do it. Now here's how I make a hash brown. Take the potatoes, make a little ball. Of course you'll get all kinds of little pieces laying around later. Drop it in. you're washing your hands if you're working on cooking oil make sure you dry your hands pretty good you don't want to be dropping water in hot oil getting off your hands now we're going to take our spatula flatten it out Spatula. Flatten it out. That's pretty much all there is to it. It's hard to see because I can't see what I'm filming right there. 